Hey guys, in this video, I will call the authentication flow with the Spartan stack. And if you don't know, the Spartan stack is a stack consisting of Superbase, Drizzle, Angular, TFC, Tailwind, Analog, and NX. So, to set up the authentication flow, um, it's pretty straightforward. There is built in authentication with Superbase. So basically, we have our authentication system inside of here, where we can reach the users, blah, blah, blah. And I'll go up to the client, the guards, and how to send the access token on the TRPC requests. So you have the whole setup configured. So the client, the client is set up like this. We're using read, so we are accessing the variables like this, and we set up the client like this. And we have an auth service where we handle this in an injectable angular service but the client here is just the super base client then we have these kind a bunch of methods for the client uh, we have handling the auth which is called by app component. So we handle login, log out, make sure to remove cookies when we log out. We are setting cookies on the server side as well. So this works on the server side, which we need with analog. We have update user, we can get session, set session, which we need on the server side update password, authenticate user server side for server side authentication. So we have a bunch of methods we, um, that's encapsulated on this auth service. We have a login page, it looks like this for my course platform. We have the auth guard is the guard we are using for authenticating on navigation. We do the check on browser first and then server. So when we do a request, first it will run the server side part. We'll check if it's authenticated using this method where it sets the session from the cookies provided by the request and if we're not authenticated we never get to log in and otherwise when the app gets hydrated and runs on the client then this part will run or we just get the session so as I'm, there's certain differences in how you handle uh, the sessions on the this is for authenticating on the server side and this is authenticating on the client side And then there's the TFC part where we have set up the TFC um, with the Nitro handler. And we set the headers for each request provided. And then in the TFC context is where we authenticate on each request. So we expect a token to be provided. We verify the token and we get a user to see if it's authenticated and when we create it for example for sections we have perspective protective procedure the perspective procedure is taken from the context if the contact has a authenticated user. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. Then you have this and we have a TFC client that is providing this TFC headers. And these headers we are setting 
from the app component when we authenticate it we get the access token here and we set it so it's provided on each request like that yeah we do the authentication we use this protective procedure and set it up like this with the tfc headers so yeah that's basically the whole flow uh, how we uh, both do the set up the superbase client and as default is set up with the implicit flow by the way in superbase you can set up with the pico ce flow as well if you want a little more safe rather than having the access token in the in the url you can do it more safe way um by you doing a code exchange for an access token which requires some server side setup for exchanging the the pico ce code for an access token and yeah otherwise how you then the how you pass the access token to the t rpc server and how you then authenticate uh, on the different requests on tfc